What's up, friends? Welcome back to Alt Investments. I'm John. I'm Nick. And today we're here to talk about a piece of the canvas from WrestleMania 22. And we also have a signed picture from John Cena. Oh, oh. Before we jump in, always remember to do your own research. And this is not financial advice. All right, John. This is a hype piece. Tell us what it is and a little bit about it. So it is a piece of the ring from WWE WrestleMania 22. And the piece I have is number 343 out of 4,000. It's kind of cool. You know, I'm pretty pumped about it. Now, there was another set of uh, canvases that went out. It was out of 2,000. That was like okay. a black piece of the mat. Oh, and that was the only other one that, that I we found. Yeah, I couldn't, couldn't find it anywhere on the internet. Okay, so, so this is legendary. W, when What year was it from? 2006. They were in Chicago, if I recall. Okay, 2006, WrestleMania. And what is WrestleMania for people that don't know? WrestleMania, for people who don't know, is the Super Bowl for wrestling, basically. So they wrestling, they have like their pay-per-views all throughout the year, but their biggest one is WrestleMania. Everybody looks forward to it. You don't have to watch wrestling all year, but people will tune in for WrestleMania. Yeah. I, isn't it? You said it's pay per view. Yeah, it is. But they have a deal with Peacock now, and oh. they don't have their own streaming service anymore. They go through Peacock. All right. So, legendary piece, two thousand six piece of the ring from the WrestleMania. You say the Super Bowl of wrestling. Um, how did like how did you get it? So, I got it for Christmas. I got it as a Christmas gift from my parents. Now, here's the tricky thing about this. They told me that they got it from WWE.com, like their, their shop.com. Okay. But I was on Reddit, and you can't always trust everything from Reddit, but Reddit is also reliable. I read that they sent the piece of the canvas with the WrestleMania 22 DVD. And I, I ran that past my parents. They said they didn't do that. They ordered it from WWE. So I'm going to believe my parents over Reddit. Oh, my gosh. What do you... So you think... That they got it from the actual website. Yeah, I, I, I don't think they would make that up. Well, I'm just saying, just because it's. <laughs> but I could see if it's like they sold two thousand on the website and yeah. sent two thousand with the DVDs. That's a possibility because just, four thousand. Yeah, just because it's so long ago. You know, it's hard to remember that long. So ago. long ago. Yeah, but but I remember seeing when I tried to do some research about the piece, um, the DVDs. I didn't see anything else. Only the DVD. Yeah, the, the only other thing I saw was the other piece of the canvas. WrestleMania 22. What is is that the 22nd anniversary of it? Like, what do you mean? It, when they call it WrestleMania 22, you said. So they go in order, like chronological order. So every year they have a WrestleMania. So. Where are they at now? Oh. That's what I'm saying. They're like definitely. 20, another 20 years. Probably ago. over 50 at least, for yeah. sure. That's so they're, But they're still counting? Oh, yeah. Whatever year it is yeah, now often. from then. Wow. Imagine, imagine like WrestleMania 100 or something like that. Because, yeah, when you first said 22, I'm not familiar with them numbering it. You yeah, know, I'm it's pretty like, sure they just go in it every is, year. One number, number. It's like the Super Bowl. Yeah, I it's agree. literally what it is. I think it's a solid comparison right there. All right, so this is a legendary piece of the ring. Uh, at that time, 2006, I was really young, about 10, exactly in the age of wrestlers. It, it, who was on this? Who stepped on this? So, the first thing that I can recall from WrestleMania 22 is Sheldon Benjamin. One of the most iconic things ever. Most people climb up a ladder. My man ran up a ladder and did like a somersault on the like four other, like landed on a bunch of people. Wow. It was, yeah, the, dude, you don't see somebody run up a ladder ever. For those of you who aren't familiar, I remember now that he said something. Definitely go look it up. It is electric. And, you know, there's some other very standout wrestlers that were still wrestling at that time. So, you know, you got you got Ric Flair. Woo! You know, he was he was he wasn't even he was in his prime before we even got to watch wrestling. Really, right. like we call it the old oldness of Ric Flair in a yeah. sense. But he was still active, you know, moving around. They had a Rob Van Dam still there. You know, he the fly maniac. That was my guy. Triple oh. V, Who else? Triple v. H. Triple H was there. He fought John Cena. RVG. John Cena. 
That's awesome, dude. Now that you say this, it's all coming back to me. And there was actually one standout guy that was actually alive at that time that is no longer with us, and his name is Chris Benoit. Mm. Chris Benoit wrestling. Legend. Legend. Ooh. Terrible way to go out, but legend on what? the wrestling mat. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Damn. R.I.P. R.I.P. to the homie for sure. It's tough. Um, I liked uh, Rey Mysterio. Was my guy. He was also on on that card, the WrestleMania card. Was he? Yeah, if I if I recall correctly, it was Rey Mysterio versus Kurt Angle versus Randy Orton. It was a triple triple threat oh. match. I don't know. I liked Randy Orton, but I was a John Cena guy personally. Yeah, John, uh, you can't growing up, you can't not like John Cena. But as you get older, you're always like. I wonder if he'll ever go heel. Like, he'll turn, it, turn into a bad guy. It's like, he can't for all the stuff that he does for, like, kids and all that. He can't turn. Yeah. Now he's, like, a uh, an actor and, like, yeah, now he's not Yeah, like, kids nowadays, kids growing up probably look at him and The Rock as, like, movie stars instead of, like, how we look at them as wrestlers. Oh, The Rock, dude. I can't, if someone looks at him like a movie star, that's awfully weird to me because... I don't know. I just feel like he looks like a wrestler to me. Like, he's just a big dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, like, we know him as like, The Rock. The kids nowadays know him as, like, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That is ridiculous. First of all, we have the same birthday, so shout out to The Rock. Wow. Wow. We got to hook something up on uh, you guys' birthday next year. Yeah, dude. We like dinner on me. Um, I can probably, like, outlift you or something, though. So That's a bold statement. Um, So, there was actually one more cool thing I want to mention. Rip it. So, the card on the back is signed by Linda McMahon, which is Vince McMahon's ex-wife. I don't think they're together anymore. Who's Vince McMahon? Vince McMahon is... He was the CEO and chairman of WWE. He's no longer. But the night that night, he did fight Shawn Michaels. In a, uh, I think, yeah. Wait, Vince McMahon did? Yes. Is right. that when he ran out? <laughs> he got cracked in the head. He was bleeding. bleeding? Yeah. Remember that um, craziness. Yeah, I I'm familiar with Vince. I didn't know what his position was, but I knew he was some kind was, of like. I'm pretty sure he was the CEO and chairman. What? And then to to me, he was the Dane of White of WWE. <laughs> dude, but the thing is, like, he was actually wrestling dudes all That's throughout it. the time. Yeah, you know, Dane is not getting in the cage, but yeah, but I wouldn't it's either. All, <laughs> it's all a show, right? Yeah, you get in the cage. With no dogs, zero. But... The thing that has me skeptical about the card is that I only saw it on one website. And that website wanted you to pay for, like, a subscription just to see what it sold for. And I saw that. Well, I, I, I low-key schemed. I uh, signed up and canceled real quick just so I could get some info. That's what good researchers do. And uh, it sold for $16 on eBay is what I saw from the website. You know, Does it say details? Does it say, like, um, buy or sell or things like that or just say eBay? No, it just said uh, market eBay price sixteen dollars that's it so like it's not really like i can't really go off of that yeah um i would say especially no date nothing like that like no time i couldn't even click on the transaction okay um i don't know i'd say i'm half and half because one it wasn't really a reputable source two because you like I don't know. Where's the date? It just says There's, eBay and sixteen dollars. It doesn't have one transaction. And when we went to look into it, there's no uh, no listings on eBay. Um, so we were unable to even see past sales or any kind of sales data. That being said, I don't, we couldn't find the eBay listing for sixteen bucks. That's old. I couldn't find any listing. I saw a thread on Reddit. That's it. And it could have been twenty years ago. Like, how do you know when it was from if they didn't say, you know what, you're right? Yeah, I don't. I think the guy or girl, whoever sold that piece of the canvas, I think they sh- they pulled, pulled the trigger a little too early. Because mm. if you look back at that, the whole, all the matches and all the wrestlers that were on there, there's some iconic and legendary wrestlers, people that aren't even alive. And we have John Cena, who wrestled there too. Yeah, John Cena's alive, though. <laughs> he is <laughs> alive. Um. I mean, it's unforeseen circumstances that some that people die. But um, yeah. the cool the cool thing that I'm trying to tell myself and that I thought was WWE they change their mats, whether that's like every like one one or two matches or if there's any type of blood on the mat they change them. Okay. So what are the odds that this could be a part of either the John Cena Triple H match, the Vince McMahon Shawn Michaels match, 
the Sheldon Benjamin running around match. You know, there's Chris Benoit, Ric Flair. There's so many different options, and it's just like, well, if Ric Flair was wrestling on this, does the value go up even more? Yeah. Well, was it what I remember that it was a notable WrestleMania? What happened that night? So John Cena tapped out Triple H. Vince McMahon, I'm pretty sure, lost to Shawn Michaels in a, uh, I think it was a no holds bar match, uh, with the Sheldon Benjamin running up the ladder. Uh, I think Rob Van Dam won that fight, and then I don't, I can't remember who Flair fought, and I know that Kurt Angle, Randy Orton, and Rey Mysterio, they had a triple threat match too. Nice. So a lot, a lot went down. A lot went down. Yeah. So why would they change the mat? What is? So it's just that's been the thing for WWE for years. So like if it gets like too like you know people sweat a lot. So if the mats get wet, like they swap them out because what if somebody slips, falls, gets hurt? Like you don't want to you don't want to risk injury to like basically your company because these, yeah, these guys are pro- like wrestling promoting your company. You don't want them to get hurt. You want to protect them. So safety. Also, probably the kids like probably with uh, like you know watching. Like no blood, they probably it was probably PG thirteen. Well, didn't they have it. Th- yeah, WWE just started with the like PG stuff. You just you gotta think okay. when we were growing up, they were they were a little out of hand with what they were doing on TV. I don't, I honestly, I don't remember. I just remember like Legendary Undertaker and and Rey Mysterio and and people like that. Yeah, you gotta think when we were growing up, we still had a great era of wrestling. Like I would say from like the eighties to like the like late two thousand. Legendary. Great. Like nowadays, like yeah, it's still good, but uh, like you don't, there's no, there's no like standout star. I would say the how it was like when we were kind of coming up, like John Cena just took over the show. I would say this wrestling has nothing compared to what was. I feel like an old man saying that, but it it really doesn't. I mean, I saw some clips; they were just straight up raw. Like not to mention, like obviously SmackDown raw, but yeah, it is. It was unfiltered. Um. Not it would have not hung around today's climate like climate as far as um you know it'd be all over the news if something like it was just too aggressive back you then. Th- and, and the kids and it was like too offensive like oh my kids can't be watching that now it's probably like gentle as ever yeah you don't even they don't even I don't even think they curse well you can't curse on TV but like yeah, they they do probably do like catch up packets now and stuff like that for blood. <laughs> But, like, back then, like, dudes would go to wrestle and, like, they're like, oh, dude, I want to get split open. Then I, uh, I want to bleed. Like, what? Like, calm down. <laughs> was that Roid Rage, dude? Yeah, that was, they, they like doing them. I don't know if they, I don't know if they do that anymore. They probably get tested for that stuff. All right. So, legendary John Cena caught dubs that night. Um, tapped out Triple H, also a huge legend. This man got his signature. The John Cena signature. So just before we end it, tell us a little bit about it. Tell us how you got it. So I do know how I got this. I went to one of the live events. The only issue I have is I don't know if it was a Monday Night Raw event or Survivor Series event. It was one of those two events because they were both at the Wachovia Center, which is now the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. Um, I was able to get this. I knew a guy that worked there and... Yeah, you got to know people. I knew a guy, and he was telling me how Cena would show up and bang out all these autographs early, so during the show, he wouldn't get bothered. He'd get ready for a set. So it was pretty cool. That's nice, dude. He's a good guy. He's always been a good guy. He's a great guy. Do you think he's allowed to buy it? You could buy this, yeah. No, I'm saying, did you buy this? Yeah, I did. I bought it for like 25 bucks. I would say 25, 30 bucks. I mean... That's a steal. It's probably he probably did mass autographs of it, but still, it's yeah. a John Cena autograph. It's alright. He yeah, he had made his buck off it. But um, what do you think it's worth? So I did. It was I did do research on it. It was easier to find out more about this than it was the piece of the canvas. So people are selling this online anywhere from about like twenty five to hundred bucks. So I could either get my money back or double up, triple up. Interesting. Are you gonna sell it? Nah, I'll probably just keep it because, yeah, I got it at a live event. Yeah, you, know, you don't really see anything like this around anymore. I think he's a legend, too. I think he's outlived just being a wrestler. Um, You know what I mean? Like we said, he's a actor. He's probably... Wasn't he in Fortnite? Am I nuts? 
Was he? I, I'm... G. Yeah. Was so, he? So we have the confirmation. He was, he was in Fortnite. Um, like, come on, Kid, kids know him. Well, he does all that stuff. Cause I remember, like, if I would play Fortnite, they had the uh, I don't know, emote. We gotta be careful with that wing. <laughs> That's my own rendition of it. That's I what I like to hear. Come on. Sound amazing. If you like all investments, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like and follow button. You can also find us on Instagram at Financial Professional, TikTok at Alt.Investments, and our Twitter at Alt Investments underscore. Make sure to put that bell on to never miss a video.